it has a lot of shrinkage. Ain't that something? See how that bounced back? Hey guys, what's up? This is Trish. Welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. Today I'm coming to you with a video uh, regarding this wash and go I have. Uh, the product that I used is Moose Death by The Dew. Um, I plan on doing uh, several videos using this product and trying it out on different types of styles. Uh, this is a wash and go. I want to use it maybe in a twist out, braid out, maybe flexi rod sets or something else, but I plan on using this product several times. So I'm going to do, I guess, maybe a little mini series on it. But the first style that I want to try with this product is a wash and go. I had saw a lot of uh, YouTube videos where um, people used it as a wash and go and it had good results. Uh, one of the things that interests me the most about it is it's supposed to be like one of those one and done products. And who doesn't want a one and done product? So I definitely want to try it. Um, I have type 4 hair. Um, I would say I'm kind of four, mostly maybe 4B and maybe some 4C. So I really question whether I could use a mousse, you know, um, to get uh, a defined wash and go because typically I use um, a gel, um, usually wet line. In the past, I used to use Eco, but usually it took a heavier gel, you know, for me to have, you know, some definition to show, you know, my true texture. But I want to give this uh, Moose Def a try, and that's what I did. Uh, last night, I co-washed my hair. I put it into eight sections, and I applied um, the Moose Def. Um, to me, it had uh, a really smooth um, application, and it was foamy uh, like the typical mousse, but it seemed like it had an extra little creaminess to it, and maybe that's part of the ingredients where, you know, it is a one and done, because I felt like um, I was able to smooth it through my hair um, rather easily. Um, I did... Um, a bit of finger detangling um, as I separated my hair and put it in twist. I think I could have did a little better job of the finger detangling because I did run into you know some tangles, but when I just used a little bit more mousse, I was able to work through uh, those tangles. And I, I'm heavy-handed with my products, so I was a little heavy-handed with the mousse. I was a bit concerned because when I got finished with a section, it was like all white and foamy. Um, but it seemed to have uh, dried up uh, pretty well, so um, I was happy with that. But after I uh, completed the application all over my head, I air dried for about two hours. And before I went to bed, I got under my hooded dryer for about 20 minutes. And um, my hair was like well over 90% dry. Um, so I was happy with that. Um, I wanted to um, get the full effect of this product and I want to use it as it was instructed. Therefore, I did not add anything to my hair. I didn't put uh, a leave-in. I didn't add any oils. It was just this product. So uh, the same thing as far as, you know, what I typically would do with a wash and go sometimes. Sometimes I will band it or I put it up in a pineapple, you know, to get a little stretch. I didn't want to do that this time because I really want to see, you know, how my hair was going to react to this product. What I did was I just put it under a bonnet. I didn't do anything else. I just put a bonnet over my head and went to bed. And... Uh, Pretty much uh, this morning, this is what I got. Uh, as you can see, it is a lot of shrinkage, um, uh, which is fine. Uh, you know, sometimes with my gels, I get a lot of shrinkage. It depends. 
it just depends on um, what products I use. So I'm fine with that with the shrinkage. Um, and uh, I, I think I got good definition. Let me get up a little closer so you guys can see. Um, this is uh, try to give you a, a angle where you can see the definition. Like I said, it is really shrunk. <laughs> I almost feel like uh, it's kind of packed down a little bit, but I didn't want to do anything. I kind of wanted you guys to pretty much see, you know, how it looked. I just kind of pulled some bangs down so I could, you know, look halfway decent on the video. But uh, uh, so hopefully you can see, you know, the definition. Let's see from this angle. So you can see. And like I said, it's a it has a lot of shrinkage. Ain't that something? See how that bounced back? So um uh, hmm. What you guys think? Let me know what you think about this. I, I think it turned out pretty good. This is my first time using a mousse for a wash and go. This is my first time using it. And I'm sorry guys, I'm looking down trying to see, you know, what I'm doing, trying to look halfway <laughs> uh, decent. I don't want to look too crazy on here. But yeah, I think it's okay. Moose Def gave me this. Now, like I said, the application was really good. I like the feel of the product. I'm happy with the definition for sure. The drying time, to me, it dried rather quickly. Um, now, one thing, or a couple of things, um, I would have liked a little more shine. Like, again, guys, let me know what you think. I would have liked a little more shine and maybe I could just, you know, put some kind of oil on there uh, to help with that. And um, the other thing is it doesn't feel um, moisturized, but that could be because I, um, I just co-wash and... That's not fair because I just co wash. I'm definitely going to try this again. I'm, I'm definitely going to try another wash and go. And what I'm going to do um, the next time is I'm going to do like a regular um, wash day where I would use a moisturizing shampoo and follow that up with um, a moisturizing deep conditioner or some kind of mask and then i'll see you know how it feels after that you know as far as the moisture level so i, I do want to give definitely give uh wash and go another try with this product because i'm telling you but i'm kind of pleased with it so what i plan on doing is of course i'm gonna you know wear this wash and go uh throughout the remainder of the week um, I'm probably going to add some oil to it. I might do some stretching just to, you know, see how it holds up and how it lasts. And, um, yep, yeah, there we go. Moose step. And like I said, I plan on using this product for some other styles. So uh, look out for that content. It will be coming soon. I'm going to, uh, you know, see what all I can do with this product, you know, and, um, what it can do for me. But you know what? I want to hear from you. I want to know if you guys have used this product. How did it work for you? Did you like it? Also, I want to know in regards to, you know, the moisture, you know, do you have any suggestions on what I can do to, you know, still use this product and have my hair feel moisturized? So uh, with that, that's the end of this video. Um, I thank you guys for uh, stopping by. Again, uh, thank you for visiting my channel. I appreciate it. Uh, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Please come back again. 
let's be friends and um uh, i have more content to come uh we're going to talk about natural hair styles products protective styles um uh, being natural in corporate america that's a whole nother thing i think that's a good topic to talk about so let me know if you guys have any questions in regards to that and uh again thank you for stopping by see you soon bye